Hi folks, welcome back to the audio filing car. Sorry about the lack of videos lately. I always make the same excuse, but it is of course because we are just so busy. I haven't had a chance to shoot anything. So we've seen a lot of pickup trucks lately. We've got one inside the workshop at the moment. We've got one outside which just, just completed. Um, it's a Nissan, but it's had a jack up kit, big wheels. It's looking uh, pretty cool as you can see. And we've added a nice custom hi-fi to it. So this customer wanted to say, well, that, what he actually said was he wanted it to blow his wing mirrors off. I don't think he really meant that, um, but I got an idea what he was after. So we've got gone for a front and rear sound stage in here so because he carries lots of his mates in the back we've got sound in the front as well as the back or sound in the back as well as the front of course normally we'd concentrate on front sound stage rear fill So as with every one of our installations, I'm going to shut the door to stop that beeping. As with every one of our installations, we've carried out a huge amount of soundproofing. So again, in these doors, it's our four layer soundproofing. So it's the outer skin, the back of the regulator or the front of the regulator panel and the back of the door card. And then of course, we've got the sound absorber in between, which is like a lovely egg boxy type soft um, foam, which just fills every little gap and cavity, absorbs any resonance and stops vibration. We've gone with an Audison Voce front component set. So it's the good old six and a half inch woofer down the bottom there and a tweeter at the top. Um, they're a long way apart. So time alignment, to being able to time align the individual speakers is important in this case. So we have gone for an active setup in the front. So that means we've got a separate channel drive in the woofer and a separate driver, channel drive in the tweeter. Now we've chosen the Audison Forza 8.9 amplifier for this installation. And in fact, we're running in six channel mode. So that means we've bridged two of the channels to drive the bottom woofer to give us extra power. Then we've got two channels driving the tweeters in the top of the dash so we can separately time align those from the woofers in the bottom. But then because this customer, let me get out actually and come around, I can show you a little bit better. Let's have a look in the back. Oh, there's that beeping again. So we've just got the customer's bits and pieces here. So we've gone for a separate two-way component set in the back. So we've got the tweeter here and we've got the six and a half inch in the bottom. Again, of course, they're fully soundproofed with our four layer soundproofing system. Um, one thing that the customer did comment was uh, there's a lot of road noise in here. So we want to quieten that down, which of course it has that effect. The, the extra soundproofing. And you've got a good sound stage in the back. This is driven from two more channels of the Forza amplifier. The Forza amplifier is just sitting there, as you can see nice and neatly tucked away we've got a panel in there which is bolted down we've trimmed it in carpet and then we've mounted the forza amplifier there so two channels run in the rear components passively and um, six channels run in the front components actively the forza amplifier has a output for a subwoofer so we run that into a jail audio 600 watt so that is a 600 watt mono amplifier and that in turn drives the jail audio cp 108 subwoofer so under we've just trimmed the carpet around here um, you won't see any of this because of course it, it, when the seat comes down it's all completely covered but I've undone it so I can show you there's a fiberglass enclosure here which fills this entire sort of area here that was actually quite difficult to construct in here to get enough box volume for the subwoofer even though it doesn't need a huge amount of box volume there's actually a lot less space under here than you'd imagine so that fiberglass enclosure is actually literally bolted through the bottom of the car and sealed up from underneath so that's never ever coming out unless we undo that big bolt underneath to release it because we want that to be absolutely rock solid and of course we've soundproofed this entire area and underneath the subwoofer as well to stop any resonance so there you go that's kind of what we've done um, two amplifiers and a DSP underneath there. The digital processor, of course, sets all the time alignment for the front end, as we said before. You've got a strong rear sound stage, pretty much the same as the front, so the people in the back can enjoy the experience. And other than the tweeters in the top of the dash, which we had to move out from the factory grills because they were too far down and a little bit restrictive. Other than the tweeters, there's nothing else to see. The only other thing we've done is put a subwoofer level controller here, and that can be used to trim the level of the JL Audio subwoofer. So if you want your wing mirrors blown off, you turn that up. If you don't want your wing mirrors blown off, you turn it down. Looking forward to handing it over to the customer. Hopefully he'll be here fairly soon. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and of course, turn on notifications. If you don't, you won't know when we've produced a new video and then you'll miss all this fun stuff.